Hey, what's up guys? This is Johan and in this video, we're gonna go over the 4 month update on the 20 gallon nano. Alright guys, so for the most part, for about 4 months now, the nano tank has been doing an awesome, awesome job. Um, as far as the coral growth and what I see in the, what's going on with all the coral, I would never expect to have so much success in um, a reef tank. Um, like I said, when I started ch this challenge, this would be my first actual um, tank that's targeted directly towards coral. Most of all my other tanks have been targeted towards getting the fish and um, seeing how I could keep the fish. And I would add corals here and there, um, and they would do okay. Uh, even some of the failures, I think that's, those are the only corals that I have really good um, success with. But as far as this nano, I have uh, hard corals, I have soft corals, I have sponges, I have an anemone, um, and there's a few other corals I have in here, and they're doing awesome. And uh, this nano has, has taught me a few things um, as far as keeping my hands out of the tank, and then a few things as far as like the corals is concerned. I didn't know that corals, for example, platen corals, at the bottom side of the coral, you could also have polyps. So, there's a pulse we see at the top where there's a skin and the colorful stuff, but when you look at the bottom of the coral, there's also pulse. So for example, right here, these two platen uh, monties, I think they are green monty caps. Underneath, there are pulps on there. I didn't know that I would find that. Another thing I've learned, um, kind of the hard way, because I've seen or heard um, other reefers talking about it where um, lo the lower your nutrients the better for you and I only have one little guy that's in here and he's been in here for maybe two weeks but for the most part this tank has been mainly coral only and the uh, only thing this little guy does is actually clean out all the corals and then I previously had a lawnmower blend in here that was clean out all the algae and stuff so everything in here is it's low nutrients and all the corals are doing awesome corals that I removed from the main display are actually coming back and bouncing and um, regrowing, re encrusting like I did in like the second update. Um, corals that were completely basically dead are coming back to life in this nano. So it goes against what most people uh, say get a bigger tank um, and have a nano tank because there's different things that may happen. The nano tank there's easier swings and um, it's more difficult but in my experience so far the nano has been doing awesome and it's probably because I set it up for coral um, <laughs> my fish just splashed on me so it's probably because I set up for coral it's doing what a reef tank supposed to do um, it kind of even has me jealous of the big tank I kind of want to break it down um, restart it, but I can't do that um, the tank is doing nice going nice as far as the fish and the euphilia and some of the soft corals and the, um, any other LPS I have in the big tank, they're doing good. It's just the SPS that just, I don't know, RTNN or STNN. Um, but the Nano is doing really, really well. So I'm gonna give you guys a few little B-roll shots of what has changed and you know a few things that's going on.
fish that's in here, the little sylphin tang, is doing an awesome, awesome job where he's going around just nibbling at coral and there used to be algae on this coral right here and that's completely gone. There's a little hair algae here and there throughout the entire room and he just went in on it. So um, because of that, um, I was going to leave him here for six months and then put him in the main display so he could grow out and compete with other fish and I don't want him to terrorize him and bully him. So I actually just, I'm going to leave him in here like the plant um, so he could at least control any algae of outbreaks that I do have and um, at least he could grow out. And I did buy another silphin tank um, that's in my quarantine right now. I'm going to put into the main display just because of the awesome job that this little guy has been doing. So I also added a rock floor anemone. It, when I got it from the LFS it was a beautiful bright vibrant pink color. Um, it's still pink but it's not as vibrant as I got it from the LFS. Now it has the pink tentacles but the center of them right where the mouth is is almost um, green tint so it's starting to look like a regular rock floor anemone but it has the like, really pink um, tentacles. Um, it started right here on this rock. Um, this is where I put it and that's kind of where I wanted to have it but I mean it's an enemy so it's gonna move where it wants to and in, right then it moved to the bottom and it just hang there and it stayed there for about um, a week and a half and then after it moved to that glass went down and now it's in the bottom left corner or right corner of this aquarium and he has put his foot all the way down and I have about three three and a half or about two and a half inches of sand back there and it just likes that area so it's gonna stay there for now until it decides to move again um, so far I haven't had any success feeding it um, I've tried some krill and some pellet food and it seems to just have it on the tentacles it reacts to it but it never really close up or it's probably eating it but I don't um, pay any attention to it and I have time to turn and forget to do something else and it's probably consuming it by the time I go do whatever else. So another thing this nano tank has taught me um, is as far as like coral placement and the different coral colored corals can have um, from the placement. So for example I have uh, this Montepore right here and it's a nice light color. Um, it's not as bright as when I originally got it. But down at the bottom of the sand bed, um, I had the, the I had another frag that was actually over here. It's they were about the same color, a little bit darker. But then I was doing some cleaning, it fell off, so it hit the sand bed. I never put it back up. And it, within that two weeks that it's down on sand bed, it has gone a lot darker. So. Um, I'm guessing the less light it has, the darker or the coral is going to be or maybe the flow or something is not as strong there so the nutrients are higher. Don't take, don't take my word for that, I'm just coming for a random theory but it has more to do with lighting because I see the same thing with another coral that I have. Um, it's uh, this coral right here, I'm not sure what it's called, it's basically uh, some kind of acro. Um, up top the the pops are a lot lighter and smaller but down below where there's less light it's bigger and um, it's much bigger and much d darker in color. So currently I'm using this nano tank besides for the challenge uh, also for um, as far as rehabilitation for some of the cores that aren't doing so well. Um, so these Monte cores I spoke of earlier um, they're coming back I have my Corvona back here. I have to still have to frag it up because it's supposed to be under an inch or inch and below in the nano aquarium. I just put it in here just so it can recover, but I have to chop it up because I'm probably going to leave it in here until I figure out what's going on with the um, main display, why um, all my hard calls are dying. Um, I, and then this style of four I have right here on this ledge right here, it is doing really nice, except it doesn't have any color on the skin, but all the pulps are fully extended. But in the main display, it's completely gone except for the base skeleton. And then I had a, a small frag plug of that same style for I took it out and it's in here and the, the pops have extended and the core is starting to reincrust again. So there's some, definitely something going on with the main display. Um, I'm not home long enough as I used to be to actually monitor it and catch stuff. Uh, I do have a camera on the main display, but I can't seem to find anything. But Nano, for the most part, is doing awesome. Um, and so far, so good. 
as long as I don't do anything crazy or anything stupid like um, putting my hands in lotion or um, doing a stupid water change, excessive water changes, this nano has been doing awesome. And another thing too, I don't do that much water change on this uh, aquarium because I don't feed that much. But what has been keeping this aquarium going as far as nutrients being low is I have a algae scrubber in the back, um, sorry, a, a chill reactor in the back and then this uh, filter with a built-in protein skimmer and I change the filter floss at least once a week. So that's basically keeping all the nutrients low and um, keeping everything nice and healthy for the coral. Alright guys, that pretty much wraps it up for the update for the 20 gallon nano. As far as I can tell, everything is doing really good. Um, it's going a lot better than I thought it would, um, being as it's my first actual um, target the reef tank. Um, but I think what I've learned from any of you guys that are watching, for example, uh, Rico um, and Tidal Gardens and Aaron's Aquarium, all the big YouTubers, um, CJ, um, I don't want to <laughs> miss anybody, you know, Pelfrey, um, Dave's Nano, um, all of you guys that out there shooting um, really nice videos and teaching us new hobbies as far as like the reef is concerned um, you guys are usually uh, you guys are doing an awesome job so whatever I learned from you guys I try to implement it into this nano and it seems to be working out really well um, at least in my own little way um, even though it's a small tank um, it's doing an awesome job so all right guys that pretty much wraps it up for this video if you guys like it go ahead and hit the like button down below and also remember to subscribe i'll catch you guys in the next one Thank you.